Right now, U.S. fighter aircraft are going through an upgrade so extensive that defense experts are calling it the most aggressive modernization effort in fighter aviation history. We're talking about more than 75 new capabilities integrated into a single jet, technology advanced enough to allow one pilot to manage multiple engagements while coordinating autonomous systems at the same time. This isn't a futuristic concept or a science fiction scenario. The F-35 Block IV upgrade is already being delivered to operational squadrons, and what it introduces fundamentally changes the way air combat is fought. The real question is no longer whether this aircraft can dominate the skies, it's whether any opposing force can realistically keep pace. Stay with us, because what comes next puts everything into perspective. Take a moment to think about this. The F-35 was already the most advanced fighter jet ever fielded. American pilots were already outperforming competitors across the globe. So why invest billions more into a platform that was already ahead? The answer is straightforward. The United States isn't aiming for short-term air superiority. It's building long-term air dominance for the next three decades. And Block 4 is how that vision becomes reality. To understand why this matters, we need to look inside the aircraft itself. Everything begins with Technology Refresh 3, the foundation that enables every other upgrade. Imagine trying to run modern applications on a phone built in the year 2000. No matter how good the software is, the hardware simply can't keep up. That was the limitation facing the F-35. The aircraft was exceptional, but its onboard computing architecture had reached its ceiling. Technology Refresh 3 changed that entirely. The new system introduces dramatically increased processing power, enhanced panoramic cockpit displays that present information more clearly and more quickly, and expanded memory capable of handling vast amounts of data in real time. Just as important is the Open Mission Systems architecture. This design allows new capabilities to be added without redesigning the entire aircraft. In simple terms, the jet is now built to evolve. Lockheed Martin invested more than $350 million in research and development to make TR-3 possible. That investment didn't just improve an aircraft, it created a flexible platform designed to adapt to emerging threats for decades. Engineers didn't simply upgrade a fighter, they future-proofed it. The road to Block 4 wasn't without setbacks. Between July 2023 and July 2024, the Pentagon temporarily stopped accepting new F-35 deliveries. The reason wasn't cost or politics, it was standards. The early TR-3 software required additional validation to meet combat-level reliability. Rather than rushing jets into service, the Air Force, Navy and Marine Corps chose to wait. That decision speaks volumes. The U.S. military refused to compromise on safety or performance. Deliveries resumed only after testing confirmed readiness. That's the standard. Get it right, or don't deploy it at all. If that level of discipline matters to you, it's worth acknowledging. Once Block 4 weapons integration comes fully online, the F-35's combat capability expands significantly. This isn't just about carrying more munitions. It's about carrying the right ones. The aircraft can now internally carry six AIM-120D air-to-air missiles instead of four, while maintaining its stealth profile. In modern air combat, those additional missiles can be decisive. Long-range anti-ship weapons are now part of the arsenal as well. The AGM-158C allows pilots to strike hostile vessels from distances where retaliation isn't possible. Precision-guided munitions continue to improve strike accuracy while minimizing unintended damage. Combined with enhanced electronic warfare systems, Block 4 enables operations in environments that would force other aircraft to retreat. Radar advancements are just as critical. The APG-85 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar provides increased range, improved tracking, and more precise target identification while preserving low observability. This is where battles are often decided before a shot is fired. Enemy forces may not even realize F-35s are present 
until it's too late. Sensor fusion elevates this capability even further. The aircraft doesn't simply gather information. It processes and integrates data from its own sensors, other F-35s, satellites, naval platforms, and ground forces into a single, coherent picture. One pilot now has situational awareness that previously required an entire formation. Global adoption underscores the platform's impact. 21 nations have selected the F-35 for their air forces. Countries evaluated every available option and chose interoperability with U.S. air power. Switzerland ordered 36 Block 4 aircraft. The Czech Republic committed to 24. Denmark, Norway, Finland, Poland, Belgium, the list continues. These aren't just sales, they're strategic partnerships. When allied nations fly the same aircraft with shared capabilities, they operate as a unified force. That interoperability strengthens deterrence and stability. Block 4 enhances that unity by ensuring every allied jet receives the same upgrades. Production momentum reflects this confidence. Lockheed Martin delivered 110 aircraft in 2024 and is on track to deliver between 170 and 190 in the current year. The backlog caused by TR-3 delays is clearing rapidly, squadrons are receiving upgraded aircraft, and the pace is accelerating. At the Paris Air Show in June 2025, Lockheed executives described TR-3 as the foundation of the most aggressive fighter upgrade program ever undertaken. That wasn't marketing language, it was a factual assessment. More than 75 major upgrades span all three F-35 variants. Every version, the Air Force A model, the Marine Corps B model, and the Navy C model benefits. Mission planning and execution improvements may not sound dramatic, but this is where modern warfare is decided. Pilots can plan complex missions faster, adapt in real time, and rely on onboard systems to manage computational tasks. This allows them to focus on tactics and decision-making. Artificial intelligence integration is also beginning to take shape. The trajectory points toward a future where one F-35 pilot can direct multiple unmanned systems simultaneously. The aircraft becomes a battle management platform, not just a fighter. Block 4 makes that evolution possible. Maintenance and diagnostics received major upgrades as well. The aircraft can now anticipate component failures before they occur, improving readiness and reducing downtime. For a globally deployed force, that reliability is essential. Range extension capabilities also deserve attention. Conformal fuel tanks preserve stealth while enabling deeper penetration into contested areas. Israeli F-35I aircraft have demonstrated this capability during operations over Iran, flying extended missions without aerial refueling. That flexibility reshapes strategic planning. Combat experience continues to validate the platform. Israeli, American, and British F-35s have flown missions across multiple theaters, feeding real-world data back into continuous improvement cycles. Every deployment refines the aircraft further. The cost discussion is unavoidable. Over its projected 77-year lifespan, the program will exceed $2 trillion. That figure sounds staggering, but when spread across decades, multiple services, thousands of aircraft and allied fleets, the cost per capability becomes far more reasonable. The cost of losing air dominance would be far higher. Oversight remains important. The Government Accountability Office has raised concerns about timelines and expenses, and some Block 4 features have shifted toward 2031. That scrutiny is part of responsible governance. Capabilities are being prioritized thoughtfully rather than rushed. Engine upgrades are also on the horizon. The Pratt & Whitney F-135 core upgrade will provide additional power and thermal capacity, enabling future systems that demand higher energy output. When fully implemented, it will support capabilities that haven't even been publicly discussed yet. Lieutenant General Michael Schmidt compared Block 4 to upgrading a computer or smartphone. Improved hardware enables more powerful software. That analogy fits perfectly. Like modern devices, the F-35 will continue to improve through software updates. The global fleet now exceeds 1,000 aircraft and more than 1 million flight hours. These aren't prototypes, 
Their operational jets, training pilots and standing watch worldwide, training pipelines have evolved accordingly. New pilots now train on aircraft equipped with these advanced systems from day one. They aren't transitioning later, they're mastering the most advanced fighter immediately. International cooperation amplifies this advantage. American, Norwegian, Australian, and other allied F-35s operate with shared awareness and seamless coordination. That collective capability is unmatched. Deterrence may be the most important outcome. Potential adversaries understand what the F-35 Block IV brings to the fight. That understanding prevents conflicts before they begin. The F-35 Block IV upgrade represents American innovation, resolve, and air power at its peak. 75 major capabilities, combat proven performance, and continuous evolution define this platform. The next time you see an F-35 overhead, remember what's inside. Technology, testing, and uncompromising standards. That's not just an aircraft. That's American air dominance for the next generation.